Good morning, everyone. We have a lot of ground to cover in this meeting, so fasten your seat belt. Get your Bibles out and turn it to the last book in the Bible, chapter 13. We want to go through and biblically anchor, and then anchor through the spirit of prophecy all of these symbols in Revelation 13 and the designations and the reason we are doing that is so that we have a reason for getting ready for the Lord's return he has shared these things with us and he wishes us to understand them and to be ready is that right amen. if you're in agreement with that say amen, amen. Revelation chapter 13 and verses 1 through 10 talk about a dragon and a beast. Verse 4 specifically, the dragon referred to as the devil and you can see that confirmed in Revelation 12, 9. Just across my page, maybe across your page. Revelation 12, 9. That the dragon indeed is the devil and Satan. Verses 1 through 10 specifically identify the beast power and some of his characteristics. For instance, he comes up out of the sea. Revelation 17, 15 tells you that the sea represents what? People's. So this beast comes up out of a peopled area in the earth. And he's like unto a leopard, so we can go back to Daniel 7 and talk about that. And one of his heads was wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered, how could he have a wound to the head and survive. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. That is, he puts himself in the place of God. That's what blasphemy is. And on through this it mentions how many times he blasphemes. He persecutes the saints and he persecutes them for forty and two months, verse five and verse seven. And he calls upon the whole earth to worship him. And Jesus, in the final conclusion of these first ten verses, says, If any man have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith. Without question, with the forty and two month prophecy, twelve hundred and sixty years, the rain, the persecution, the blasphemy, the origin all point to the papacy. And you will see that also confirmed on Great Controversy, page 439. Now, let's go to another beast, and he starts to appear in verse 11. He comes up out of the earth, signaling what? comes up out of an area that's not heavily peopled. And he has two horns like a lamb, but he speaks as a dragon. Immediately following the 1260-year prophecy, a nation comes up out of the earth. In and about the ending of the 1260 years is A.D. 1798, and at that time the USA was coming into its own as a nation, having won the Revolutionary War. Unquestionably, the two-horned beast is the United States of America, and you can also find that confirmed on page 440 of Great Controversy. Now we have another uh, 
beast or the image to the beast that comes up in Revelation 13, 15. The image to the beast and this two-horned beast referring to he there in the beginning of the verse combines with the image to the beast to enforce its dogmas and to force you and I to worship. And worship according as the image to the beast dictates or we shall be what? Killed. And on down in verse 17 it will there will be an economic boycott and we will find that we will be facing as God's people those who are loyal to the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus we will be facing economic boycott if we maintain that loyalty reminder that the whole world the rest of the world will follow the beast think of them all Islam Buddhism Hinduism Shintoism all of the major religions of the world even atheism or whatever is practiced in China everybody will rally around four main players the papacy the image to the beast spiritualism and labor unions they all amalgamate together to oppose those that keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus. And loyalty to that will cost you the sacrifice of this world. Cheap price to pay, as I would say it. Now, image to the beast, we will find confirmation that the image is going to look something like the beast and so it's going to enforce some of the dogmas of the beast and Great Controversy 445 will confirm that what the Bible says image to the beast is apostate Protestantism as it begins to enforce its dogmas and when the two-horned beast unites with the image to the beast what do we call that? Hello, anybody out there? What do we call that? Union of church and state, right? Is that correct? Okay, now, we have, what do we have left? We have, oh yes, we have the mark of the beast. Let's go back to the beginning of Revelation 13 and ask you a question. What is the issue here in Revelation 13? What is being contested? Worship. worship. All right, let's confirm that. Look at verse 4. And they worship the what? The dragon. So the devil wants worship instead of having worship Dan to God, right? Satan's trying to take worship away from God. Then he puts together this beast, which is called a masterpiece of his deception. And he wants the world to worship the beast because he put it together. And the beast also wants the worship. Verse 8, And all that dwell on the earth shall worship who? Shall worship him. That is the beastly power. On down to verse 12. And this two-horned beast causes the, influences the earth and them that dwell in the whole earth. Think about it. This two-horned beast has enough influence to influence the whole world to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. What's the issue here again? Worship. Look at verse 15, image to the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship 